Welcome to Vinny's Talk. Myself, Mike Dub here. We're all ready. Um, welcome you guys to Vinny's Talk. If you guys are just join, hit that like button. Um, <clears throat> beautiful day outside. Today we're going to talk about once again how I'm feeling towards the story of the five men who went down with the titan to go see the titanic and i want to share with you guys my reactions and my thoughts a little bit about how i feel um just um you know watching different media outlets and hearing people friends um different uh theories and different opinions and stuff like that and um you know, this is an extraordinary event. It's a very sad thing that happened. Um, catastrophic, as you may call. Um, if you guys are just joining my podcast where we talk about true crime, we also talk about uh, personal videos and personal stuff that I like, um, like the Titanic, the legacy of the Titanic. And I really feel like, um, you know, all this negativity is casting casting like shadowing negative stuff on the titanic because um people have an infatuation with the ship and it takes a really passionate person to want to go into the depths of the of the cold sea especially the atlantic ocean and we talked about anniversary after anniversary guys about the survivors and how I feel towards the Titanic and and you know these people really um I mean they put their lives on the line but at the same time we had a nineteen year old kid that went down with his son into this into this vessel, into the submersible sub, right? And uh, at first, supposedly they were saying that he didn't want to go, you know, and, and prayers to his family. But you know what I want to say is I want to say that I have a mind of my own, guys. I have a mind of my own. And yes, there could have been things done. And I hear a lot of people saying that, yes, there could have uh, been requirements that didn't pass and this didn't pass and that didn't pass. But the matter of the story is, is yes, they took this. Yes, they took the submersible down multiple times before, and it was a success. But the matter of the story is, is that there was five people on board, and five people never came back up. But my, I guess my issue with the media and everybody saying is uh, cursing this dude, Mr. Stockton Rush, the CEO. Um, and as far as I'm concerned. As far as I'm concerned, all these people that were on board had a passion. And some may say, some may not agree with me. Some may say, well, Vinny, you're crazy saying that, well, I wouldn't go down there, you know. Oh, I wouldn't do that. Oh, it's just because they're millionaires out there. They're, 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 they're millionaires. They have nothing to do with their money, right? It has nothing to do with money. This is my, just, these are just my personal opinions and my thoughts, guys. So don't get your feelings wrapped up in a bunch you can agree or you, you don't have to agree. I mean, that's fine. But at the same time, I have passion towards the Titanic. And you know what? Um, I, I view these these people on board. I mean, this, the one dude on board was a Navy. Navy. Um, they call him PH, right? It's sad that they, they had to lose their life, man. Um, and people are poking fun at this dude, Mr. Rush, the CEO about this and that about how he's controlling with the controller and all this stuff and i just um this will continue with uh people wanting to see the titanic and and the magnificent uh magnificency amazing and 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 background of the ship and the story i mean dude we all know that this place is is a graveyard for all the people that lost their lives of the Titanic, right? And, you know, they they did have ice warnings, guys. And, you know, Captain Smith, right? Edward Smith. Um, you know, he just he kept full steam ahead. 
and and I feel like it was kind of like deja vu again, right? <clears throat> but see, the thing is, is is my passion towards the Titanic, and and I look at I look at these guys, and they had passion, and it takes a strong willed person to want to go to the depths of the ocean, especially the cold Atlantic Sea, you know, in the middle of nowhere. It's dark. It's cold. But for for everyone that's bashing this dude, for everyone that's that's saying that they wouldn't do this, they wouldn't do that. Everybody has a choice in life, and yes, they made the choice. Was it the most smartest choice? Probably not. But they were doing something they love. And you could say, well, I could say one thing, and I could do another. I could get on my bike and say, hey. I ride a motorcycle. Well, that's the risk that I take every day. I like to grow tomatoes. I like to grow marijuana. I like to grow raspberries. Uh, someone likes to jump out of airplanes. Also, there's people out there that say this all could have been prevented if it would pass inspections, if it would pass this, if it would pass that. Correct. And I agree. But certain stipulations and things that they took... There was waivers that were signed. There was other things going on. There was trips taken prior. Who knows? Maybe it was all the stuff that they did before, which warned this vessel out, right? Which warned it out. But you can't take away the passion that someone feels in their heart and what they want to do. Um... There's other opinionated people out there that are saying, well, if he was so uh, enthusiast and if he was so powered and, and mindset and all this stuff, and, well, Vinny, do you know what you're talking about? Uh, well, maybe he should have just went by himself. These people wanted to go down and see the Titanic. I can't tell you why people are so infatuated with it, but I can tell you that this will continue because the Titanic is is one of the most amazing ships that was ever built by Harlan and Wolf. Um, the RMS, you know what I'm saying? White Star Line. Oh, man, dude, it's just, it's so much history, so many years behind the Titanic. The survivors that survived it and, and went down with the ship. And I know people are just like... Um, how could you say this? How could you say that? And it's not that I support that they didn't have checks done. Because, yes, there could have been things that were prevented. But in life, man, when you do something, it is what it is. You can't change the fact. All you could do now is change the, the future, right? You could try to prevent what happens next. And, yes, they could have prevented a lot of things. But I believe that Stockton rushed this dude. He wasn't a bad dude, man. And God bless the people that were on board that lost their lives, especially the 19-year-old that didn't, all of his life was ahead of him. And I'm not saying anything bad. I don't want people to get my words twisted up. These are just my opinions and my thoughts. Shout out to the families, man, that are going through what they're going through. You know, you hear about all this stuff about lawsuits. You know, they went down there with a the passion to see something they truly believed in. So, something they truly thought in their hearts that this is really what they wanted to see. Oh, they just have too much money. They have too much time on their hands, blah, 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 blah. See, the thing with people in life, they're easy to talk, right? We got a lot of haters not enough motivators, not enough critical self-thinkers out there. Now, if you could think for yourself and not figure out what everybody's saying in the background, more people would be better off in life, right? We have more haters than ever. But the more haters you have, the more you know you're doing good, right? I don't know, man. I definitely think it's risky as hell, right? And a lot of people, a lot of friends of mine say, no, I would never do that, Vinny. But I also have people that would say that, yes, something that I'm passionate about that I would do. Um, this could have been prevented by a simple, have this checked out, have that checked out. Yes, I, I agree with that. I agree that 
there's things that they should have checked out. But they went down to try to recover things and, and, and people saying it's touristy, whatever the, the case may be. But they went down for a so sole purpose of what they felt in their heart that they wanted to do. It is crazy. People are paying $250,000. I wasn't paid $250,000. Some people believe that's their dream. That's what they want to do. So I just feel like people can't really cast a judge and say, hey, some people like jumping out of airplanes for whatever the case may be. Some people like, uh, you know, a flying to Tokyo. Some people like flying to Italy. Some people like, uh, you know, flying in balloons and shit. I don't know, man. All I know is when you have a passion for something in life, you... you you can't let that take, you can't know, you can't let no one take that away from you guys. Always remember that. Especially, you know, something that you're really into, something that you like. You know, I do these podcasts and talk about true crime and certain topics that I like to talk about. Some people may not agree. You don't have to agree. You don't have to agree, right? You do not have to agree, but you, you, you should indeed have a mind of your own, right? Vinny D, baby. Vinny's talk, right? Wow. I talk about the weather. Oh, we're talking about the submersible um, ocean gate called the Titan. Um, if you guys are just showing in Vinny's talk. But yeah, talk about the weather, man. It's, uh, it's summertime. It hasn't quite felt that humid feel yet. We haven't got that humid feel. But I'm pretty sure we will. Pretty soon now that it's summertime. And somebody, some may watch my videos and know that I cover, like, the true crime cases. Kylie Rodney, uh, Gab Butito, rest in peace. You know what I'm saying? Still covering that, guys. You guys know that I'm still covering that. So, justice for Gabby. It's always justice for Gabby. You know what I'm saying? Um, but this, this story with the Titanic and everybody talking about this, this submersible and how it... Uh, this is so so crazy stuff being talked about not enough people are talking about the passion and the heroic things that these people have done and the people all they could do is see the negative in what they've done right that's what it is with the media clicks and views man clicks and views hit that like button just like Vinny D said hit that like button but you know what I, I honestly don't care how many subscribers I have I appreciate and I love that people watch my videos, but I have a message to get across. It's justice and it's passion in your heart. And what you feel in your heart, you do what's right for you. You, you, you got to do what's right for you. But also remain loyal and true to yourself, right? But uh, I really do believe that extraordinary people do extraordinary things. And it's up to God, man. They just, uh, they, didn't, they didn't have a... I guess this time just wasn't their time, man. And, and, and they were doing something they loved, and they died doing it. There could have been things that could have prevented this. Yes, there could have been things that... Um, but was this guy a bad person? We'll leave it in God's hands. I, I just don't believe that having the amount of heart and passion you have to do stuff like this it's 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 crazy man and i don't think people realize that you know what i mean but one day one day they will you know the titanic sits 2.4 miles underneath the atlantic ocean i was listening to an interview with this person that one said well i i don't know what's worse was it the silence or was it the screams, people that were in the water before the lifeboats came and got to see if there was anyone still alive after the Titanic sunk? What was worse? Was it the screams or was it the silence? That's, that's tragic, man. And uh, you could add those names of the people that, that passed away that were on that submersible to the count of the Titanic because... They were they were doing something they truly loved. These were these were people of man, dude, just straight up pioneer attitude type. You know what I mean? 
And some made it like, oh, these people are not pioneers. What are you talking about, Vinny? Being an explorer is a heavy thing, a heavy thing to do. Because doing something you like, sometimes it gets you in trouble. Doing something you're passionate about, sometimes it gets you to the point of no return. And these, this is a fact. This is the truth. We've seen it with, with, with airplanes. We've seen it with helicopters. We've seen it with people being basketball players, rich. I mean, look at Kobe Bryant. Rest in peace to Kobe Bryant, man, the Black Mamba. You know what I'm saying? It's the, but at the same time, it has nothing to do with, with, with being rich. It has everything to do with, with mindset, with believing in yourself and, and having that that godlike attitude and, 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 and knowing that this is, this is who I am and this is what I want to do. I don't care what anybody says. Does it make them bad people? Everybody's got an opinion, you know, and I, and, and I respect opinion. I mean, if you don't respect the opinion, then you don't have to like my opinion. But I'm always going to keep it 100. I'm always going to tell you how I feel from my heart. Um, that's why we have Vinny's talk. Let's go, right? Yeah, man. You know, that's why we do this stuff, man. The Titanic anniversaries. And people are going to be talking about this, not today, not just today, not just tomorrow, but the years, decades, dude, decades. We thought, in 1986, we thought after the Titanic sunk, 1912, right? Then there were expeditions after expeditions, 1986, 1994, 2000, that people are just going to stop talking about the Titanic. People are going to leave it alone. When you have a passion for something in life, you don't stop until you achieve your goals. But not only that, but it's such a, a tragic story, the Titanic, because such a magnificent ship that was built and everything behind it is, it's, it's crazy. It, it's, it's one crazy thing to talk about. The time that it hit the iceberg. The captain of the ship a lot of speculation of how, if he could have stopped, why did he keep going? Why did he keep going full steam ahead? Mr. Bruce Ismay. A lot of people are like, damn, Vinny, a lot about the Titanic. Bruce Ismay. A lot of speculation between him and the captain of the Titanic, right? But we can get the ship. We can make headlines if we get the ship to move freaking faster. 30 knots. 20, 30, 40 knots. Yeah, when they hit the iceberg, it wasn't so nice, was it now? This is my reaction, my thoughts. Legacy of the Titanic. And what the legacy of these people leave behind. Right? And not just, you know, explorers, not just people who had passion with the for the Titanic and wanted to see it, but people who risked their lives to do this kind of stuff. And, you know, I just want to, I want to recognize that and I want to say that, you know, my hearts go out to the families. If you're watching, you know, and, you know, I, I, I'm just kind of, I had to touch on it, man. I had to talk about it again because it's something I had to talk about. Um, and I hope you guys watch my videos again. Hope you like, subscribe to the videos, man. I'll be talking about the Titanic. Keep the like button. Keep it going. <laughs> Vinny's talk. And I want to thank you guys for joining, man. All right. I appreciate you. I love you, man. Until the next time, rest in peace to all the people that were affected on the Titanic. Rest in peace to the people on the Titan that went down with the submersible, man. It's very sad. But always remember to keep that passion alive because passion and being who you are as a person always gets you true to yourself, right? But take it easy, guys. Until next time, later.